Royce, when you look at just these last couple of games, you're five and one in the last six. What do you just attribute that success to and the growth that you guys have shown? I think just learning, you know, game by game, uh, you know, offensively, you know, moving the ball more, uh, finding guys, creating for others and then knocking down shots and then defensively, especially rebounding, um, helping the bigs out, you know, whether they're rebounding or boxing out and those guards got to help. I think just, you know, us communicating more. When it comes to this offseason, Dayron just told us that like radical truth has kind of been the overall theme and message of this group. How have you guys seen like really leaned into that throughout? I think just being honest with each other, uh, being able to hold each other accountable. I mean, we're not calling each other out like any bad ways. It's just, you know, help benefit each other, how we can get better in, every like player wise and then team wise. And, you know, just being honest. You see that play out on the court. I think there's a couple of moments in the Hawks game where we saw a lot of huddles um, with the players, and Jock said that he, he gives you guys those opportunities to kind of coach each other along. Have you seen that kind of play out even on the court? Uh, for sure. I mean, uh, no matter who's in, I think, you know, if two people mess up, being able to, you know, come to that person, tell them what happened, you know, how we can get better next time so it don't happen again. I think just, you know, we the five that's out there playing, you know, coach can tell us what to do, but at the end of the day, we have to be the ones that communicate with each other, talk to each other, and then compete. What are your thoughts on how the Jordan Poole, Cal Kuzma pairing is working out in Washington? I mean, they're both two good players. I mean, it's not like it wasn't going to work right away. It takes time to figure it out. So, I mean, they're good players. They'll be able to figure it out. Going back to your earlier answer, I mean, was that kind of – trust and open communication and so forth. Was that just so much harder to be able to do last year when basically, I mean, you guys maybe knew each other from playing against each other, but I mean, you were basically three different teams being thrown into one. You know, you had guys from Phoenix and guys from Dallas and then the holdovers. Uh, was it harder to have that kind of open dialogue and trust last year? Uh, no, nah, not really. I mean, I think, you know, us just coming together as quick as we did, trying to learn on the fly. Uh, learning each other's tendencies, um, you know, it's a whole different group. Everybody got different principles of where they where they come from, what they learn. So I think just you know having the time together, you know, we got better at it. I mean, we started to do it last year, especially towards the end of the year, then playoffs. But uh, like you said, it was different, te three different teams, and you know, it's coming together. Does that also apply when someone like say? Kevin Ollie speaks up. Is that part of that radical truth where anybody can speak it, whether it's coaches or players, and just kind of says what needs to be said? Uh, for sure. I mean, uh, you know, whether it's somebody different on the coaching staff, one of the players, uh, I think just us holding everybody accountable. And then, you know, everybody's going to listen. I mean, everybody listens to the coach, but, you know, sometimes when you get a different voice, you know, you go, you know, you hear it differently and different perspective. So, uh, I mean, I feel like just everybody, you know, being able to, you know, talk to each other has been great. As a vet, like how much is that appreciated? Because as obviously the more you're in the league, the more you can say, the more you've seen. How much does that help as a vet when you're on a team where that's encouraged, where guys can speak up? Like uh, It means a lot. I mean, you know, as a vet, you know, the young guys, you know, listen. Uh, I mean, everybody's listening to each other. I mean, we all, you know, got experience in this league, uh, you know, different levels of the playoffs. So I think just being able to hear somebody else's side, you know, is always a benefit. With you guys being such a great shooting team, I'm just curious, from, from your experience, how is that able to be sustained over the course of a full season where it's not just, you know, the first quarter of the year where you guys are shooting so well? How do you guys, how is it sustainable, you think? I mean, just putting in the reps and time. Uh, I mean, we get, everybody has confidence to, you know, keep shooting. Whether you miss two, five in a row, I mean, you don't get discouraged and, you know, always, you know, look for the next shot. I mean, we got guys who shoot well like 40 percent above so that's all i mean that's a benefit towards us when you look at this wizards group for tonight what's just going important for you guys to uh has to be done to get the win uh we gotta you know compete every possession uh 50 50 balls go for them uh you know on the rebound end you know create for each other on the offensive end and just have fun